if you own an Elgato Stream Deck, then chances are at some point since you bought it, you thought to yourself, why does this thing not link to the one piece of software every single streamer has? Discord. Well, today I'm going to answer that question and we're going to add buttons to your Stream Deck that will let you mute yourself or deafen people in Discord um, while you're streaming. Perfect. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is head into your Stream Deck software and click on the system drop down on the right hand side. Now in here, you'll see a label called hotkey. That's the button we're going to create. So we're going to drag one of those and we're going to click on it to assign it. Now here it's down here, it says title. So we're just going to call this one mute because uh, it's going to be our mute button to mute ourselves from Discord and we're going to assign a key. Now this is the magic part really. So down here, we're going to go down to F keys. Uh, these are the buttons you're, you know, down across the top of the keyboard, you see F1 to F12. Well, you don't normally have a button. Some people are gonna be like, I do. It's fine. Most people don't have buttons for anything more than F12, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these keys that we do not have on the keyboard. That way we know it's not going to be bound to anything if we play a game and uh, we're not going to get, you know, step on any software's toes. So go to F keys and in this particular case, we're going to choose F19 because why not? So F19 is now the hotkey. And now we know every time we push that button on our Stream Deck, it's going to hit F19, the imaginary key that doesn't exist on our keyboard, but does exist in Windows. Okay, once you've done this, we're gonna head into Discord and down in the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you'll see your name and a little cogwheel that says user settings. Click that and about halfway down the screen in the app settings section, you'll see a button called keybinds. Click this button. Now, we're gonna create a new keybind. So we click add a keybind in the top. And under action, which currently says unassigned, I'm gonna change this to toggle mute. Now toggle means when you click it, it will mute. When you click it again, it will unmute. If you have push to hold or put, uh, push to mute, then when you hold the button in, it will mute and when you let go, it won't. This won't work so well, so we're gonna go with toggle mute. Now in the key bind, you need to click it and you have a, only a few seconds to do this, but you click it and then push the button on your Stream Deck that you just created. Now you'll see that it says key bind F19 and that's toggle mute. So now you don't need to save anything, this is automatically saved. When we cross this, if you have a look down here in the bottom of the screen, when I hit the button on my Stream Deck, it mutes me, hit it again, unmutes. One last thing before I go, make sure that Discord's running on the same computer as your Stream Deck. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I'd get it in there anyway, just in case you didn't realize. Uh, if you want to come hang out, link for my Twitch is down in the description. Leave any comments underneath, let me know how you get on. Hopefully you found this really useful. I can't believe I didn't figure this out sooner. <laughs> Feel free to let me know if you already knew this as well in the comments. But yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. Happy streaming. And uh, now... Have full control over your Discord while you're streaming. Amaze balls. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.